Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new, my name is Lexa. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love if you would do so. Um, I make mommy lifestyle. I'm a military wife and cleaning all the goods. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I would love for you to join the fam. So today we're going to be talking about something that I don't really talk about a ton on my channel or a little bit of a different style video. Um, first of all, if you don't know, I am a military wife. My husband is in the army and we currently are stationed on a military base. Um, he has been in for five years and so started from the bottom now we're here and then we got married once he got home from um boot camp and then we moved to colorado and lived there for three years and then we moved to our current duty station so it's been a long long road you might hear my kids in the background because I'm a military wife and i don't have anyone here to help me so um i'm just gonna do a little bit of a things i wish i knew or some things that might inform you about being a military wife um, or spouse. And then I'll leave some stuff out, I'm sure, because I'm gonna forget. So if you Mommy. want to help any of the wives out, please leave it down below. I'm saying these things to not only inform you, but if you're about to be a military spouse or you are one right now, some of these tips you might not even know. Most of the tips you probably do know and you're just gonna laugh at them because you're like, yeah, girl. Yes, yes, you got it right on the money. Um, this is so random. I just thought of this and wanted to share with you guys because I wish there was a video out there. Not that I really was looking, but I wish that there was a video out there when I was first becoming a military spouse that I could have been like avoided so many mistakes. Without further ado, let me tell you about all the things to avoid, to look out for, to expect, to expect to live. I don't know. So I'm just going to be giving you random things about the military as a spouse that you may or may not already know. So first of all, there when you move onto a military base and they say housing is full BAH, BAH, military terms. Oh, you're gonna learn a lot of those by the way. Um, it means that they take all of your money that your spouse gets for basic housing allowance. Um, so it's better, a lot of people say, to live off the base, but then it's like, you have to find a house that's cheaper than your BAH because you don't want to be forking out your own money if you were to live on a regular base then you have your water basically paid for everything's paid for but what really sucks about it is it sounds good what it means is that they take your whole paycheck of BAH so whether your husband is just starting off as a fuzz or he is a E7 they will take it all so no matter what your rank you could live in the same house as a fuzzy and you will have a you will pay so much money. So be prepared for that. So make your decision wisely on that and don't just think, oh, full BAH, okay. Well, that means even if your husband ranks up while he's in that house, he will pay. Because as you rank up, you get more BAH. So that means that take more of your money. Next, um, you will be lonely and alone a lot. Yeah. If your husband is anything like my husband and if the military or whatever, branch your husband is joining is anything the way that my husband's is then he will be gone a lot and you will be doing it all on your own so before you start a family if you haven't already be prepared to be a single parent and respect those single parents because you're about to be one of them because hi i'm basically a single parent another tip that i have for you all is um let's go on some couch Another tip that I have for you guys is really hard to make some friends. So it might seem easy, like I'm looking at the houses right now and they're literally connected, the houses that we live in. Um, it's like, how could you not make friends? But some people are just very catty and very mean. And some people care about rank and some people just don't take care of their kids and they don't have the same morals as you. And it's just like the regular world. Okay, just because we're all military doesn't mean we all get along, especially in the military because people are a lot more catty because they think that they're better in some way because of whatever reason. So try your best to make friends, but keep keep a distance because a lot of people like to talk and a lot of people like to start drama or have 
silly reasons why they don't like someone. So, and then also that could be brought into your husband's work life or your spouse's or whatever work life. Um, I'm just referring to my husband because I am a wife. He is my husband and this can really apply to any either way or whatever, but this is just my situation. Next, um, the military base usually has a hospital. So usually your kids and you, if you don't want to pay extra money, will go to the base, will go to the hospital on the base. And let me just tell you, the hospital on the base, <laughs> it's really not the best because it's military. They see pe new people all the time. You're getting new people. It's, it's a lot of influx of people. So if you don't get personal one-on-one -on -one care, it's because they don't care because they're very cattle in and out, in and out. Everyone is leaving. Everyone is coming and going. If you maybe want some better care for your child, possibly, um, I'm fine with using the military hospital because I don't mind there. It doesn't bother me. I don't go there often. Um, either when I'm pregnant or when my kids are going through their monthly or yearly checkups. That's really all that I'm going. So I really don't care and I'm not going to pay the extra money. I haven't had a horrible experience yet. So until then, I'll let you know. But for right now, I'm going to stay going to the military hospital. But there is an option for you to be able to pay a little more money um, with your health care. And you can have the option to go to other hospitals. So... If you didn't know, you have options. <laughs> also, dental. A lot of people think that dental, this is just in the same category, um, that dental is covered by the military. Not for you. No, no, no. Not for your kids. No, no, no. For your husband or your spouse or whoever is enlisted in the military. Yes, dental is covered for them. Um, for me and my kids, we have to have a uh, dental plan. But it's way better than I'm sure out in the civilian world is, um, but it's not free. A lot of people think like, oh, you're military, everything's free, everything's good, How you live this great life. Honestly, they take a lot of money from you. If you don't do certain things right, they could take um, your rank. Um, if you get a DUI, they can take your rank, they can deduct your pay, um, a lot of bad things. So, you know, in the real world, when you get a DUI, it's, you know, it could be on your record and you might not be able to get a job easy, but here it's, they take your rank, pay, all that fun stuff. So be prepared to not be drinking and driving because you're going to lose your job. I guess in the real, I guess in the civilian world, you'd lose your job too. So it's kind of the same. I don't want to just talk negatively about the military because it's not all bad, but these are just like random things like get under my skin about the military they love to cut corners it's their favorite thing to do um and when your husband says he's going to be back expect hours later or maybe even days later for him really to be back and whatever the military says like this is when you're going to get a, a vacation just expect it to not be that same time and don't book flights and don't make plans because you don't make plans until the literally the day before because if you try to make plans before they before when they say like in the weeks ahead it's not gonna work out for you it's gonna be a waste of your money so just a heads up to that also if you are military and you which i would assume you are because you're watching this video but um you will go you will have a commissary on the base and you can go there and that's a grocery store and the grocery store is just the people expect you to tip them if they bring your cart out um they are very quick everything like i said it's quick 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 quick. they don't care who you are they don't care what you do they don't care about anything they're just civilians working there and they don't care so they will be very rude to you they will just scoot you along and no one like cares to help you no one some people are friendly but in like the places that are only for military, like the commissary, the PX, on the base, the hospital, like those places, they're not always very nice because they know, like they just know like the system and they know 
like you're in and out, you might not ever come here again, we don't really care. One thing is if you're a military wife, you are going to have an FRG with your spouse's company. And I don't really like that people talk negatively about the FRG because I have a close friend in the FRG and I have kind of been inserted myself in the FRG and I see from an outsider's perspective how the wives can be annoyed of the FRG and how the FRG can be annoyed of the wives. So I'm going to break it down for you real quick. So how the wives can be annoyed by the FRG is because this is what the wives think. The FRG is just hiding things, catty, um, you know, excluding, think they're better, and just, I don't know, just like drama, okay? And then on the FRG side, there is, you know, the wives, all those things make it hard for the FRG to do their job. So, an example, our FRG is currently trying to always have monthly events since our husband's are not around we are trying to have a monthly events or weekly events for the wives to participate because we know that they're lonely just like us but the wives think other of the frg well here's the truth about the frg they're not catty they're not i mean some may be but personally the ones that i've seen are not catty if you don't make them like if you're a wife not making it catty then it's not going to be catty they're actually trying to do some good and like bring you together so that way you can uh, like enjoy your like time while your husband is not around either doing events or just like hanging out with other wives so you're not constantly alone in your house. And also <laughs> they don't know, they don't know anything before you. They know things as soon as you know things, as soon as they get word down, they share it and they don't really get word down often because the higher ups don't care. They're just a mouthpiece for the higher ups. So don't get catty and thinking that they are knowing some information when they're most likely not. Military will be able to move your stuff sometimes or most times they will move your stuff, but most of the time it's going to be broken because they don't care. And it's usually like you're moving from one state to another, but like you're taking a leave. So your stuff is sitting in storage for like weeks and then move to like where you're going. So be prepared to not like keep anything in that truck that's like cherishable that you don't want to break because most likely it will be broken. Okay, another one is that um, I think why I don't always get along or personally why I don't like see eye to eye with a lot of wives or have a lot of friends I guess is because a lot of people get married in the military um just to get married because they get more pay so when you get married you get more pay so some people do this thing called contract marriages and that's when they just get married for the money and they don't actually like each other or men just get married quickly because they're going to be moving all these places and they want to be able to take the person that they're um, dating with them. So they'll get married and then a year later when they're actually spending a lot of time together because they're living with each other, they find out that they don't work. So there's a lot of divorces. There's a lot of cheating. There's a lot of, of that. So I find it hard when I meet a wife that maybe had met their spouse like a week ago. <laughs> no, that's really rare, but like, actually it's not, um, like a week ago and then be like, yeah, girl, like girl power. We're going to be in this forever together. Like, no, you're probably getting divorced and I'm going to be alone here by myself because I actually like love my husband and some of the wives or spouses even the husbands, maybe just in it for, you know, who knows what the reasons are, but benefits, you know, going to the doctor, I don't know, just silly, silly reasons. So that's why sometimes it's hard for me to connect because I feel like a lot of, um, not all, definitely not all, but a lot of husbands and wives or 
husbands and husbands or wives and wives, they are not really in it together and aren't really like, you know, a truly married couple because there's cheating or they're not really invested because they're just here for this or that. So that's another thing that's kind of hard. I feel like I can detect it pretty well, but that's just something random that you may find in your ventures of becoming a military spouse. Like I said, you're going to learn a lot of terms, um, a lot of abbreviations. Your husband will come home and speak to you and you'll be like, come again, can you say that in another language? Because I don't understand you. <laughs> They'll be like, I gotta get my cat card, this, that, B-A-H, um, MPs, uh, I don't know, LES, like they'll just like be saying these abbreviations and you'll be like, until you learn, then you're like, okay, all right. Even still now people ask me and I'm like, I don't know. When people ask me like, what company is your husband in? Sometimes I'm like, I know now, but like I have to be, or like what task force or what this or what that. I don't know the terms. I'm glad my husband's job is easy to say, infantry and that's that, so. You know, a lot of people are going to ask you when you become a new wife or be, go to a new place, like, or meet new people. They're going to say, like, what is, what is his job? Like, to see if, like, they, their husband or wife or whoever may be in the same situation. So, there's going to be a lot of terms that you're going to have to learn. I feel like there's a ton more stuff and I have to, like, really think about it. I didn't really write a list for this. I kind of just was, like, thought of the idea and was, like, yeah, I wish there was a video out there like that for me when I was new to the military. So I know this isn't all of it and maybe I can make a part two and maybe with your suggestions like down below, I can make a part two of things that maybe you wish that you knew before your spouse joined the military. That would be amazing. I would love to have your guys' input and because I there's so much stuff that I'm missing. But like I said, I didn't write anything down. This was kind of just winging it and like, saying what I thought and what was on my mind at the moment of being a military spouse. So please, 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 please. I would love if you would leave some of your thoughts below, some things that you wish you knew before your spouse joined. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of different for me, a kind of different kind of video for me. Um, but I hope you did enjoy it and I hope it made you laugh, whether you're a military spouse or not. Um, I hope that if you are a military spouse that you're like, yeah, girl, or maybe you learned something. Um, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you part of our family. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.